Hey, welcome. This is Here's Your Good Health. My name is Linda Prezioso. I'm a nurse practitioner at Family Medical Center, and tonight I'm so excited to have my buddy Alan Bolin, Dr. Alan Bolin of Hammer Chiropractic. He's been with us before, and he's here again tonight. He's a guru with um, chiropractic health, and um, I, I'm a big proponent of chiropractors. I've used them all my life, even when the medical the medical world said uh, they're just quacks. Yeah, that was that was a stigma for a while that we had. It, it certainly was, but, but it's um, not anymore. Or no, it's absolutely not. not. Mm -hmm. um, the the new. Uh, trend right now is to um, seeking alternative medicines, yes, alternative health yes, cares. That's uh, right. You know the the opioid crisis right mm -hmm. now is a big mm -hmm. deal, and pain relief without those type of medications mm -hmm. is becoming more and more mainstream. So yes, it's awesome. Uh, yeah, it, it's good for everybody. It is good for everybody. So it's uh, it's good for me because it makes our line of work uh, a little more mainstream. That's right. And it helps the patients and it keeps people off of those drugs that right. can cause right. dependency. Right, because that that opioid crisis, you don't hear much about it now, of course, you know, everything's... Everything's coded. Right. Yeah, the rest of the so. crazy world, but it's still very real. Oh, 100%. You know, um, you know I, I get patients that come to me quite frequently that have been to an orthopedist or a neurosurgeon, neurologist, and the neurologist orthopedist has said, I want you to try the chiropractor first mm -hmm. before we do anything right. else. Right. Which is fantastic. Um, you know, it, and, and as it should be, though, because we should go from conservative to least conservative that, measures. Right. Least invasive to most right. invasive. Right. So, um, chiropractor's physical therapy mm -hmm. is fantastic mm -hmm. um, to help to see if we can help with whatever problem you may be having That's right. um, before you go to the injections and the shots and the pills right. and the surgeries right. and everything right. else. Cause yeah, it's just hard to get those that are on it off. <laughs> oh, 100%. Yeah, very hard. They're not, they're not going to come off of that stuff too much. but It is tough. Uh, yeah, yeah. So, But that's what you have pain management for because I don't, I, I just don't write for any of that stuff. I mean, I will, you know, if you come to me and you've got a gallbladder attack going, I'm going to give you something for pain because I know what it is and we know what we got to do to get it fixed and what you have to go to get from my office to the surgical table is going to take a little while. So. Right, right. So, you know, those kind of things I treat. But if you come in to see me and you have a knee pain, you're getting some ibuprofen. <laughs> well, yeah, and, you know, as I tell folks, they're, they're everything in moderation. Mm -hmm. There's a need for everything. That's um, right. You know, I tell patients all the time, you know, if you're having heart trouble, I'm not your man. That's right. You need to go see the cardiologist. That's right. But if you're having knee pain, ankle pain, back pain, where do people see? Headaches, where do people mm -hmm. you need to see? And you, That's and right. You should really see us first. And then go to whatever may be after that. Because like I said, a lot of times, especially with headaches, um, mm -hmm. people have tried over-the-counter medicine. They've tried Imatrix and Coltrazine and all these mm -hmm. other prescription medicines. And obviously, yes, it helps to dull the pain, but nothing, it doesn't take right. it away. you gotta find what, you got to find the root right? and take care of the root. And, and a lot of times, um, non-migraine-related, uh, a lot of headaches, I think, like, and this is not my numbers, but you know, it's it's been peer-reviewed journals have figured it out that 70% of headaches are cervicogenic, you know, mm -hmm. which means they start in the neck. Mm -hmm. Now it could be spasms in the neck, it could be pressure on the nerves, mm -hmm. it could be all kinds of different things, but it's neck related. Um, uh, people don't believe me, but a lot of jaw pain mm -hmm. is neck related because these mm -hmm. scalenes and everything mm -hmm. attach right here, and that can affect your jaw how it works. That's right. Um, so, you know, I get a lot of TMJ patients that have tried everything for their TMJ and they're wearing mouth guards mm -hmm. and they've been everywhere and nothing helps and not every time, but a lot of times we can sure. adjust their neck and their pain goes from a 8 out of 10 to a 2 out of 10. Mm -hmm. It's a big yeah. difference, yeah. much more manageable. Yeah. It, it's really amazing how that works. I'm just, every time I see a patient, I send them to chiropractic care or physical therapy and they come back and they're just so much better. Oh, yeah. That's just so awesome. Well, you know, uh, the whole chiropractic philosophy is, you know, the body was created by our creator mm -hmm. to be a self-sustaining organism. That's right. It doesn't need outside influences right. to operate. So as long as we keep everything functioning properly mm -hmm. and the brain controls everything and the brain controls it through the spinal cord and as long as the brain can get signals from point A to point B fluidly, 
right. we're going to be okay. That's right. And that's what we do essentially right. is, you know, we're the telephone company. We remove the interferences. <laughs> you know, we get in there and, and, you know, make sure that signal can go from here right. to the stomach, here to the heart, here to the, you know, right. feet. Right. Without interruption. Right. Pretty simple stuff. Chiropractic yeah. is, and, and at its root, is not extremely complicated. Right. And, you know, our bodies are designed to heal themselves. 100%. And they will for the most part. Now, if you've got a pinched nerve in your back, it's probably not going to heal itself. Right. You might need some intervention. But, you know, if you've got kind of a bum knee, you don't know what happened, you just woke up one day and it started hurting, it, it's going to take care of itself. But I tell people, we live in a microwave society, and God made us to be slow cookers. <laughs> so, <laughs> that is true. And that's the problem. People a, want it now. A hundred percent. Um, you know, that is uh, that is the drawback to a lot of the conservative therapies mm -hmm. is they don't fix it immediately. immediately. Mm -hmm. um, you know, if you have back pain for whatever reason and you take some hydrocodone, Oh man, a lot of times the pain goes away while you four to four to six hours that pill's working. Mm -hmm. So that's what people are looking for. But I always tell folks I relate it to uh, if you have strep throat and you go to your medical doctor and they prescribe you uh, amoxicillin. Mm -hmm. They don't give you one giant pill of amoxicillin right. and say take this and right. you'll be fine. Right. They give you two weeks worth of right. amoxicillin and right. what do they tell you? Take all the that's pills. Right. Don't right. stop halfway through take every pill and that's what I tell folks you know if you're willing to take the two weeks worth of amoxicillin why are you not willing to give me the six visits that I think is going to take right. to fix your back that's right. but you want to do it in one visit right that's right so that's what I that's my spiel for people yeah. you know, it, yeah. and sometimes it works and sometimes it don't yeah. um, you know I, I had a lady that you know that I hope she'll come back I won't name her name but she came just the other day and when she left she's like well it still hurts and I was like, well, we're not going to fix it in one visit. She's like, well, I thought it would be better. And I was like, we will get it better. We, you know, I, 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 I took x-rays. I explained it to her. And, you know, mm -hmm. I thought I explained it pretty well. Mm -hmm. But, you know, she wanted it fixed right then, one visit. And I was she like, She might know, not come back. And she may not. Mm -hmm. You know, and I hope she does. And if she does, we'll continue yep. with the treatment. Yep. But, you know, it does take time. It's right. not general. Now. I have had what I call the miracle adjustment where the person <laughs> walks in or gets carried in mm -hmm. and their back is killing them mm -hmm. and they lay down on the table and I don't even have to push. I like start palpating and something pops and they're like, oh my goodness, I can feel my legs again. And they walk out and those people think that, you know, you and Jesus are the only two people that's that walk right. on water. That's right. That's right. They're few and far between. Yeah. That's not yeah. the norm. You know, I tell people all the time, that's not the norm. It does yeah. take time. So. Yeah, it does. It really does, unfortunately. And then the older you are out there, the longer it takes. So, you know, I, I've had lots of chiropractic care, and I get off the table, and it feels great, and I'll feel great for a day or two, and then kind of slides on back to where it was. So is that is there some muscle memory involved in all that? Very much so. Um we, you have to retrain your body, and mm -hmm. and I tell folks all the time. I got a guy. I I love him. He uh, well, we just missed my hair up there. Because <laughs> uh, you're looking at it. Backwards. Looking at it backwards. <laughs> yeah. Um, it's in my eyes though. But anyway, long story short, um, I got a guy who um, he's a roofer, and he comes in all the time with shoulder pain. Well, what's he doing all day? Yeah. He's taking that yeah. that stapler right. and he's slapping down yeah. tar paper. Mm -hmm. And he'll come in once a month. Sometimes he'll come in three or four times that month with his shoulder hurting, depending on how hard he's working. And he always complains. He's like, is it ever going to get better, Doc? Is it ever going to get better? I'm like, well, doesn't it feel better when you leave? Yeah. I was like, well, when does it start hurting? I don't know, two or three days later. Yeah. I'm like, well, are you swinging that? Oh, it, well, I'm a roofer. That's what. So there's a lot of stuff like that. You know, life gets in the way. You That's can't right. stop doing what you're doing. If you are a truck driver and driving your truck – for eight hours a day at the end of the day your back hurts if you keep driving that truck it's going to keep hurting mm -hmm. um you know it, if your back has been for lack of a better term out of alignment out of whack mm -hmm. for 30 years mm -hmm. and i adjust it it's going to feel good right but those muscles are going to want to pull it back to where right. it was because they think that's normal that's right that's why a lot of times, especially in the beginning, we want to see you in a rapid succession. Mm -hmm. We like to see people 
two to three times a week. Mm -hmm. And by doing that, we get that muscle memory out of there. Right, right. And once we get the muscle memory out of there and we re in the back realizes, oh, man, this is where I'm supposed to be. Right, right. Then we can start cutting you back to that once a month, once every two months, mm -hmm. once or four times a year that more people are more yeah. likely to yeah. continue with. Yeah. So. Yeah. But it is a lot of muscle memory. It's a lot of things. Mm -hmm. Like I said, it's it, life, I tell people, life gets in the way. It sure does. Um, you know, we can't put you in a cocoon because if we could – adjust you and then put you in that cocoon you'd feel great yeah but when you got to get back to work when you got to you know chase after the kids that's when right. you got to wash the dishes right. when you got to right. you got to i up. mean you know yeah you got to do life so it's it's interesting so how much acupuncture are you doing um the office does a lot mm -hmm. i don't do as much yeah. um uh, dr patel is mm -hmm. the female chiropractor that works in our office mm -hmm. um she does probably 90 percent of our acupuncture and i would say at least half if not 60 percent of what she does is acupuncture okay um she's there on tuesdays and thursdays i do maybe five percent acupuncture okay. it's not that i don't believe in the acupuncture right, right. it's just i'm busy with the chiropractic end right. of it and the acupuncture takes 30 40 minutes and mm -hmm. i'm lined up with with chiropractic patients right. and i just right. it's harder for me to fit people in i have some people that want me to do it um just a lot of va patients um have been coming here lately because of the VA Choice Program. Mm -hmm. We're part of the VA Choice Program, so if you want to get adjusted or anything like that, you and you've heard of the VA Choice, you can come see us. Um, I've been doing a lot of acupuncture because you know people don't want to ride all the way to Durham to get their acupuncture right. done, yeah. and they can do it through us with the VA Choice. Mm -hmm. um, had a guy, a great case. Um, a lot of he was just shoulder pain, neck pain came in for they gave him 12 visits of acupuncture through the VA choice program mm -hmm. and within about five visits I mean he was feeling fantastic Wow! so it was really good and he was mm -hmm. one of my patients um, mm -hmm. I had another guy for um, he was a Navy guy he forget exactly what happened but he hurt his back um, while he was in the Navy and um, he had been getting acupuncture elsewhere and uh, it had been several years, though, since he'd gotten the acupuncture. He moved down here, mm -hmm. got with us four or five visits. He was feeling great. Um, so it does work. It's, uh, it's, it's a great tool to have in your bag. I just don't do a lot of it yeah. because I'm so busy with the other stuff. But you've got somebody there that can do that for you. Oh, absolutely. So. Dr. Patel does a lot of it. And she's very good. She's probably better than me because well, she does she a lot does more. so much more. Um, and and uh, I, I will tell you, uh, I'm not a, uh, ashamed to admit it. I've got my acupuncture cheat sheets, um, <laughs> and you know, so when somebody comes in and they're like, "Man, I'm having this this pain or that pain," and I'm like, "Okay," and I can't remember exactly what points yeah. to use. I yeah, got my little right. book, and I that's right. Yeah, okay, they, that's where they go, and then I yeah. start. To, <laughs> um, Dr. Patel's a, she probably doesn't have to use the right. cheat sheets as much, right. but I do have my cheat sheets there, so we can work on um, everything from allergies to you know, uh, Dr. Patel actually. Um, <laughs> has had two or three pregnancies now. Really? That she's helped people that were having trouble getting pregnant with acupuncture. Really? Mm-hmm. Um, so she's done really well with that. Now, again, it hasn't worked for everybody. Sure. She's had some that didn't work, mm -hmm. but she's had two or three now where the, the lady well, has ended up awesome. getting pregnant. That's awesome. I so, know that makes that lady happy. Oh, extremely, extremely. Because they're not um, going for acupuncture unless they've tried a lot of other things. Yep, and, and you don't think about that for infertility and mm -hmm. stuff like that, mm -hmm. but um, it is part of the acupuncture protocol. Mm -hmm. um, I've never done it. Uh, I mean, I've, I've never attempted it, you know right, what I'm saying? Right. So, I mean, I, I'll be honest, yeah. but I think Dr. Patel's had two or three now that it's worked with. So That is great. That's, yeah. Well, that's good for me to know if somebody comes and has tried other things and nothing seems to be it's working. It's worth a shot. Absolutely. You know, you, you know it's, uh, it's, it's non-invasive. Mm -hmm. If it doesn't work, you have a you're house. out 20 bucks. Right. And, and your <laughs> 25 time. bucks, whatever your it is. time. Yeah. yeah. So you really, you know, you right. as I tell people all the time, you've spent 25 bucks on worse things. Absolutely. <laughs> A so, bottle of liquor. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So you know, it's um, it's uh, it's uh, it's really a, a good tool to have. Um, and like I said, she has done a lot and helped a lot of people. I've helped people with it. Um, it's just uh, it's a little more time consuming. And like I said, I stay so busy. Um, Doctor Hammer, 
um, if, you know, he's on vacation all the time, so I get you oh. know, I get to see his patients a lot. There so I go. stay pretty busy just yeah. throughout yeah. the day mm -hmm. doing the regular chiropractic stuff. Um, so the acupuncture kind of gets pushed aside for me. But like I said, I have some people that just, they're like, I want you to do it. And I'm like, okay. So I make sure. Yeah. Come in. I'll look at the schedule. Tuesday at 3, I can fit you yeah, in, yeah. you know. So. Yeah. Yeah. It works out pretty well. That's awesome. So how how do you do vertigo? What do you do for vertigo? Is that a more of a physical therapy thing, or can, does chiropractic work as well? It all depends on the situation. Mm -hmm. uh, vertigo is is a tough nut to crack. Mm -hmm. It really is. Um, there are acupuncture calls or protocols for vertigo. Doctor Patel has done some. Doctor Patel has had some success. Mm -hmm. um, I have adjusted a lot of people with vertigo issues. Mm -hmm. Again, I've had some success. I've had some that's mm -hmm. not. You know, the ringing in the the Meniere's disease and yeah. all that stuff. That's a little harder for us to deal with. I mean, mm -hmm. sometimes it helps. Well, there's um, not much you can do for that in any right. modality. Right. So, like I said, um, sometimes getting the neck adjusted, getting all that stuff mm -hmm. will help. Mm -hmm. um, Sometimes it doesn't. It's just kind of hit or miss with the vertigo thing. We try a lot, um, and I tell people up front when they come in, and, and that's part of our deal. Um, you know, we tell folks all the time, if we can't help you, we're going to do our best to get you somewhere that can. Right. We work with neurologists in Rocky Mount, mm -hmm. Wilson, Raleigh, Greenville. Um, we work with general practitioners all over. We're orthopedists all over. Um, we have people, you know, that. Most of the time, we have a great relationship with a lot of folks. I know Rocky Mount Family Medical has been good with us. Um, generally, um, now that Amanda's not there, I got to figure out who to call now. Oh. Um, you know, <laughs> but uh, uh, generally, if if we call one of these people that we work pretty closely with, mm -hmm. they realize that we've already done the X-rays, we've already right. done the workup, right. we've already right. fit. You know, mm -hmm. we've got it narrowed down, and we've tried this, and now we need more help. Right. So we can send it out to somebody who, when you get there, they know what to look for, what they right. need to do. So um, you can't refer, let's say you've, you're pretty well convinced it's a neurologic, or it's a pinched nerve and she needs a neurosurgeon. You don't refer that, you refer to the primary care provider. Oh no, we refer directly to you the do. neurologist, neurosurgeon, okay. whatever. Mm -hmm. um, we work with um, UNC Nash, mm -hmm. um, Dr. Tyler. Mm -hmm. uh, Dr. Bally, we used to work with him before he retired. Um, Dr. St. Clair in Raleigh is another mm -hmm. one. Uh, Dr. Green, I believe, is the guy in Greenville we work with as a neurologist. So, yeah, we, we can refer directly to oh, awesome. if we need to. Um, sometimes we go back through the um, primary care if that's what the patient wants to do. Mm -hmm. um, and a lot of time, well, not a lot of times, every time, um, if we know the uh, that who the primary care is mm -hmm. um we will send a note to the primary right. care saying right. hey this is dr bowling mm -hmm. we've been adjusted or we've been working with the patient mm -hmm. so and so um we're referring them to whatever right. neurologist mm -hmm. just want you know so they right. know so yeah. To, to, yeah. they know so i've gotten notes like that and i've gotten notes from various chiropractors saying I saw Linda and I think this is what she has. And right. And it, it is good because it creates a rapport with sure. the medical doctor. You know, we're not trying to overstep our bounds. We're not trying to step mm -hmm. on anybody's toes. Mm -hmm. But we are trying to get the patient to where they need right. to go the quickest amount of time possible. And if we can't help them, we want to get them to somebody who can right. and we want to get them there quickly. And like I said, it's great because we do have a good relationship with a lot of doctors around here. And like I said, they know that when we are referring them, Half the battle's already been fought because, right. like I said, we've got That's the right. X-rays, we've got right. the exams. We, you know, we can mm -hmm. send them the notes and they can look at that and say, okay, we need to go on to take the next step, which may be an MRI or a CT scan right. or an ultrasound or whatever it may be. Are the orthopedic guys pretty open to your treatments too? Now they are. <laughs> uh, I will say better this: than um, before. a whole lot better than before. I've only been doing this for 14 years. Mm -hmm. Uh, which is a long time, grand scheme of things, but it's not that long. Dr. Hammer's been there for 28 years, mm -hmm. almost 20, yeah, 28 years. So um, when I started out, they weren't as uh, easy going. Yeah, yeah. 
now. Now they're a lot better. Um, the I hate to say it, but the old guard is retiring, and yeah. the new guard coming in is a lot more. A they're lot more open. more open to it. Yeah. I will say this, and if he's watching. Uh, I hate uh -huh. that I hate that Dr. Bloom retired. Dr. Bloom oh, was yeah. my man. He was my buddy. Uh -huh. um, he was one that if I called on Monday, he was going to get yep. that patient in on yeah. Tuesday. He was great about that. And uh, you know, and he was great to uh, work with. He really didn't send a whole lot our way. He sent he sent a few people our way, but he was great when when I had a need that came in, and I'm like, uh -huh. okay, this is past what I can do. Yeah. This is a ligament yeah. that's a bigger issue than I can handle. I would walk up there, dial Dr. Bloom's number, talk to his nurse and say, this is Dr. Bowling, Hammer Chiropractic, and he talked to Dr. Bloom. A couple minutes later, he's on the phone. Right. I got this patient, this is what I think is going on. Mm -hmm. And in that Dutch accent, he'd say, send them over. Yep. And yep. I would, a lot of times, sometimes even get them in that day, depending on yeah. what time it was. Yeah. So, you know, it really worked out yeah. great. So yeah, we have a great relationship with, um, several orthopedists good. here in town good. so i'm glad to hear that because it's only good for the patient oh yeah like i said it, you know and, and that's what you know if you read the back of the phone book you saw our little quote you know if we can't help you we're going to get you somebody who can right. and that's always been dr hammer's motto mm -hmm. and when you come in um i'm doing a lot of talking here hope you don't mind no, that's right we're going to take a break though so let's take it right okay now. let's take a break we'll talk when we that's what he's here for to talk i'm just here to listen and to learn Anyway, we're going to take our first break, and then we will be back with more of Here's Your Good Health with Dr. Alan Boland. Don't go away. We'll be right back. At Downey's Hearing Care Associates, we are dedicated to taking care of every client by providing personal, high-quality hearing care services. My staff and I know hearing loss affects each person and their loved ones differently, so we give you the time and the care you need to ensure the hearing technology chosen fits your lifestyle. At Downey's Hearing Care, we also make custom ear molds and specialize in emergency hearing aid repairs. Down East Hearing Care Associates has two locations, one in Nightdale and one in Rocky Mount. We have hearing lives to save. Looking for an affordable option to treat erectile dysfunction? Ward Specialty Pharmacy now has low-cost Tadalafil trochee. Compounded Tadalafil trochees are small lozenges that dissolve between your gum and cheek. Many ED treatments can cost hundreds of dollars. Take advantage of Ward Specialty Pharmacy's competitive pricing. Ten doses of Tadalafil trochees are only $80. A prescription from your doctor is required. Call Ward Specialty Pharmacy today. 252-459-5544. The statement in this ad has not been evaluated by the FDA. This product is not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease. Hi, I'm Richard Koss, pharmacist and owner of Almond's Drug Store here in Rocky Mountain. Here today with my wife and two daughters. For over 75 years, Almond's Drug Store has been the pharmacy of choice for residents of Edgecombe and Nash County. Our family is proud to call Rocky Mount home, and we are excited about the new services and products we are adding daily at both of our Almond's Drug Store's locations and also at our medical supply store. Come in and see us at Almond's Medical Supply. We're an extension of Almond's Drug Store's, your local hometown pharmacy. We're here to service all your needs, from wheelchairs to walkers to orthopedic supports, to compression hose, to hard to find wound care supplies and you'll always get that hometown customer service. We want our patients to pay the best prices, get the best service available, and have a better pharmacy experience than they will get anywhere else. Our staff is committed to going above and beyond to meet our patients' needs. Whether it is working with your provider to get you the best medication at the best price, contacting your provider to get you refills or a pre-authorization, or taking the time to review each of your medications with you personally, or perhaps even helping you find an old-time remedy or other hard-to-find items, your Almonds Drug Store staff will work hard to meet your pharmacy needs. At Almonds, we will deliver your prescriptions for free. Both of our stores have drive through windows, we guarantee short wait times, and our pharmacists will come out to greet you personally and answer any questions you have. If you want to be met with a smiling face, or even want someone to greet you by name when you walk through the doors, we are the pharmacy for you. 
Call Owens Drugs today. 443-3138 or 446-0014. Welcome back. This is Here's Your Good Health. I'm here, Linda Prezioso, with Alan Bolin from Hammer Chiropractic, and he's been talking, well, we've been talking about a lot of things, but I did want to mention that, um, you know, Alan is a good old boy. He's a good old farm boy, actually. He lives on a farm. He raised some steer for beef, and I bought a quarter of one, and it was the best beef I've ever had. It really was great. Well, thank so you. We were talking about that, because now my husband's all big on that. Now he wants to raise one. I don't know if we will, or we'll go back to Alan and get one, but anyway it's um so he lives on farm and they have a big garden and his wife and his kids are out there working and he works out there when he gets home from work yes you work when you get home from work. i tell people all the time that um a lot of mondays people are like man it's a monday i'm like man i'm happy to come back to work i work less at work than i do right. at the house right that's our whole right. lot at least i'm in the air conditioner right. at work there so. you go that's right because it's mighty hot right now yeah. Whew, you're telling me so tell our viewers why you're a chiropractor where did you go to school how did you get to where you are in the working world okay um well uh, i always wanted to be a doctor well, let me rephrase that. Started out, I wanted to be a pilot. I wanted to fly airplanes. Um, I still have a desire to fly. Um, now I desire to fly a helicopter, um, which is much more dangerous. And uh, I have not taken any steps toward getting a helicopter pilot's license yet, but it's a dream of mine to be able to fly a helicopter. But regardless of that, when I got older, uh, middle school and into high school, I wanted to be a doctor. Um, I got into 10th grade. And I had to write as the best way to describe it for English class, one of these, what do you want to be when you grow up, English mm -hmm. papers. Mm -hmm. And we had to have all these different sources and we had to read about it and we had to interview somebody in that field. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to be, I thought, uh, orthopedist because mm -hmm. I loved sports. Mm -hmm. And I thought sports medicine, orthopedic surgery, you know, right. sounds great. Well, I didn't know any orthopedist. The only doctor I really knew was Dr. Hammer. Mm -hmm. And my mom said, well, why don't you call Dr. Hammer and see if he can put you in touch with an orthopedist. He probably knows one. I mm -hmm. said, oh, okay. So I called him up, and he called me back, and we got to talking, and he says, told him what was going on. He says, well, have you ever thought about being a chiropractor? I was like, no, never thought about being a chiropractor. Never crossed my mind. Mm -hmm. And he's like, well, we do a lot with bones. And he mm -hmm. said, we still work with knees and ankles. Mm -hmm. He said, we work with sports medicine. He said, well, we do things a little different. And I was like, eh, I'm not interested. I didn't tell him that, but I was thinking that. And then he said, well, she said, you know, you could just interview me. I said, that sounds like an easy A right there. I there said, I ain't got to go track down an orthopedist. There you go. The man's willing to do it. I'll just say I want to be a chiropractor. I'll get an easy grade and get on about my business. I said, okay, great. When do I do it? And at that time, we had a new, or he had a new patient seminar every first Monday of the month. Mm -hmm. So what he would do is uh, all the new patients for that month, would come the following month on a Monday. Mm -hmm. He would have them come with their spouses. He would have it catered. And he would basically, they would eat. He'd give about a 15 minute spiel on what chiropractic is. He'd have maybe one or two older patients that have been there for a long time give their testimony about how chiropractic helped. And they would go home. You know, mm -hmm. 45 minutes tops, mm -hmm. started at six o'clock, was over by seven. Mm -hmm. And he's like, you can come do you can come do the interview then. And I was like, sweet. And he's like, yeah, Outback's going to cater. And I was like, hey, get him. I was like, I'm going to eat some free Outback, there you know, you so in the 10th grade. So um, I went, I interviewed with him, and I was like, this is really interesting stuff. And ever since then, I made up my mind. I said, that's what I'm going to do. Um, I graduated from NEW in Sharpsburg, private mm -hmm. school. Um, when I walked across the stage, they said, this is Alan Bolin. They, everybody claps. I get my diploma. He's going to attend in, uh, Appalachian State in the fall, and he wants to be a chiropractor. And I just set my sights then, and it was kind of funny. When I graduated from Barton, because I didn't graduate from Appalachian State, but I graduated from Barton, um, I told Dr. Hammer when I was headed to Iowa to go to chiropractic school, um, I said, I'll be back in four years. Mm -hmm. And he said, I'll have a job waiting for you. 
and he did. But uh, I went to uh, Palmer College of Chiropractic, mm -hmm. which is the oldest right. and most prestigious chiropractic school mm -hmm. in the nation. Um, it's the first one that was started in uh, 1895. Um, everybody's first or second choice was Palmer. Um, Dr. Hammer went to Northwestern Chiropractic College. He said, why don't you go there? And I was like, I'm not going to the frozen tundra of Minnesota well, to go to chiropractic school. I'm Iowa ain't much better. <laughs> I didn't know, though. So he's it's like, well, south. It's got to be yeah, warmer. Exactly. That's what I was thinking. So he said, well, if you don't go to Nor uh, Northwestern, you should go to Palmer. He mm -hmm. said, if you, can, if you can get in, you should go to Palmer. Um, other people were like, you should, when I asked other chiropractors, Wilson and Rocky Mount, Ronit Rapids, I kind of called around, hey, where would you go? It was either go to where I went to school or go to Palmer. So I took my exams to get into Palmer. I got in. I said, well, I'm going. Um, it is the number one chiropractic research uh, facility in the United States. It's basically what I tell folks. It's the John Hopkins of chiropractic schools. Uh -huh. it's, it's the the best one. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm not tooting its own horn, but I mean, it's, it yeah, is. It um, is what it is. Uh, and uh, so I went there and... Uh, I buckled down and I, I did real well. Uh, I graduated uh, in the top 15% of the class, which was good. Um, I kind of slacked in undergrad a little bit, I won't lie. I, I went through, I graduated second in my class at NEW. Uh, I lost by one one hundredth of a point to the girl that beat me for uh -huh. for valedictorian. But I'm not bitter about that or anything. But uh, <laughs> anyway, uh, any, I, I was all A's all through high school nothing but it. And it was easy. Too. And it was easy. Mm -hmm. I got to college and the first year I was all A's and then I was like, eh, and then I was the A's and B's and then I never made any worse than a C, but I had a few C's that later on in college. But I buckled down when I got to chiropractic school again and totally different experience. Uh, college, you know, you might have two classes a day. Mm -hmm. Chiropractic school, we got there at 7.30 and we were in school until, well, the first year, the or the first three trimesters because it's a trimester program I had lunch at 12 and then I had lunch the next three trimesters at 1 but your school every it's like being back in high school it's 50 minute classes with 10 minutes to get to the next class mm -hmm. and it's till lunch and then after lunch until 3 o'clock and then you had an hour from 3 to 4 and at 4 o'clock your lab started and you were in lab from 4 to 6 and then you got up and did it all again the next day yeah. I mean it was yeah. just, just continuous kind of grueling <laughs> Yes, it was grueling. So is so. that the standard? You get an undergrad degree. Uh, what did you get yours in biology? I got mine in biology. You didn't have to go biology. Um, biology clicked all the boxes, and I like biology. Um, you can do uh, kinesiology. You can do different physiology, stuff like that. Um, but biology, when I looked, when I went to Appalachian State, I had already looked ahead to what I needed to get into Palmer. Mm -hmm. You had to have an you have to have an undergrad degree, and it has to have all of these different classes. Okay. And I went to my basically I printed it off, and I went to my advisor at Appalachia State when I got decided. I, I said I need these. <laughs> and he looked, job or and, him. And, and he looked at it. And he said biology. I said sounds uh -huh. great. And I said put me in, and, and that's where I went. And um, I will say this uh, for folks that are looking to go to school somewhere. Um, I went to Appalachia State. I loved Appalachia State. I had a lot of fun at Appalachia State. It's a great school. But Barton, I went from being in a biology class at Appalachia State with 85 people mm -hmm. to a biology classes at Barton with seven people. Right. And the professors, I'm sure, have probably changed by now because I graduated Barton in 2002. Mm -hmm. um, but they were fantastic. And um, uh the the one on one that we got at Barton, yeah. it was yeah. Yeah. amazing. So, uh, Dr. Kai, if he's still out there teaching, <laughs> he's the only reason I passed uh, oh, trigonometry thanks, Kai. and statistics. And I can tell you some funny stories about him, but he was a great guy, and uh, Dr. Kai was fantastic. And, and I was in his. I'm I'm not a math person. That's why I didn't do chemistry majors or anything like that. I'm terrible. Yes, Past add, add, subtract, multiply, and divide. When they start putting the alphabet know, in there, I'm I lost. Know, right? And uh, I was in his office every day, trigonometry and calculus, and he would just see me coming, and he would do like this. <laughs> oh, here and, he comes again. Yeah, because I was just I. 
I didn't understand it. And if it wasn't for graphing calculators and his help, I'd have never made it. But, but you um, did. But I did, and I graduated uh, Barton or uh, Palmer, and came back to work and uh, started in Nashville. Uh, me and Dr. Hammer opened up an office, uh, Hammer Chiropractic location in Nashville. We were partners in Nashville until 2014, and in 2014, um, there was some changes at the Rocky Mount office, and we decided to just incorporate me into the Rocky Mount office, and I've been there ever since, and loving life. Uh, That's good. It, it, I love what I do. Um, mm -hmm. I get to see people get better. Mm -hmm. I get to see them get better mm -hmm. naturally. Mm -hmm. um, I love when somebody comes in on Monday and they're holding their back and they're they're barely walking and then when they come in on Friday they're smiling right and they're like oh man I feel so much yep. better yep. Uh, it's a it's a great feeling so um, that's what it's all about right and, and, and you know and it, it's we have a great rapport with our patients we have a great office our staff is fantastic um, you know we have the Rocky Mount Telegram Awards or whatever they call that yeah. that they vote yeah. you know that people vote on. Um, so you're the number one chiropractic? Every once in a while we have been the number one chiropractic. Other people have been the number one chiropractor. Mm -hmm. Some of our competition has been the number one chiropractor. Mm -hmm. Dr. Hammer does get the honor a lot of years, but mm -hmm. he we've lost. I've never been the number one chiropractor. Really? Been a, I'll, been a I'll, finalist. I'll nominate you. I, I, I've, been, I've been third several times. Well, I've been second good. twice. Uh, one time I was second to Dr. Trainer. Another time I was second to Dr. Hammer. I've been third several times. <laughs> uh, but our office, our office has been the number one chiropractic office several years, That's even awesome. though me and Hammer didn't win the number one chiropractic. Right, right. I got you. So our office staff is fantastic. Um, you know, people call and ask all the time, do we do this therapy? Do we do that therapy? Do we do this? Do we do that? And there's a lot of new gadgets out there. Um, we are on top of some of them, and some of them we may be lagging behind in. But as I tell folks, we do good old-fashioned chiropractic adjustments. We do what they did in 1895, and it worked then, and, and it, it works still works now. now. Yeah. And you know, you can go do cold laser, and you can mm -hmm. go do all these other gadgets that I'm sure work. And I'm sure make things better, but a good old chiropractic adjustment is what we do, and it helps. Well, and, and a lot you have hands-on when you do Very it much so. the old-fashioned way, so to speak. And, and, and you know, and it's funny you should mention that. You know, uh, I had a lady brought in a one-year-old today. Oh my um, goodness! Yep, uh, said that woke up from her nap and she keeps grabbing her neck, and mm -hmm. and you know, could I help her? I didn't do anything. I palpated. I really didn't feel anything. The little girl was very upset. I don't know if she had had a fear of doctors because she'd been to pediatricians and stuff mm -hmm. and gotten shots and thought that's what she was going to get. Right. But she was just terrified of me. But what little bit I could palpate, I said, you know, I feel some muscle tension in there. So but I don't really feel anything out. Mm -hmm. I said, take her home, rest, let her get comfortable. Um, she had called her pediatrician. I think her pediatrician said, give her some Tylenol. I said, do what your pediatrician said. I said, um, you know, but... I'm glad that she felt comfortable enough because right. she had been to bring in her one-year-old daughter right. to let me take a look at right. her, even though I didn't do anything. Yeah. And we didn't charge her. We said, hey, you know, we're not charging. We didn't do anything. Um, take her home and let her you know, be mm -hmm. a kid and see yeah. what happens. And, yeah. uh, but you know, I'm glad she felt comfortable enough because she had been a patient. And the trust factor. That's exactly. A, that's a big trust to, to give your child to somebody else. Right. And, you know, she she was, uh, like I said, she's been a chiropractic patient. She knows mm -hmm. that chiropractic mm -hmm. helped her. Um, and she was willing to get let us take a look at it. She felt comfortable. And I was like, man, that, that's great. So, like I said, we have a great rapport with our yeah. patients. Yeah. We have a great rapport with our staff. I mean, Dr. Hammer's got patients that have been seeing him for 25 years. Mm -hmm. And they're still coming in. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, it's we, we are... A lot about maintenance care. Mm -hmm. um, our goal is to get you out of pain, and then when we get you out of pain, is to keep you out of pain. Mm -hmm. And like I said, that might mean once a month for some people. That might mean three times a year for somebody else. That's right. But um, you know, our goal is to get you on that maintenance adjustment. And you know, when you come in, I would say 
90% of the people we see, we take x-rays on. Not everybody, um, but 90%. Mm -hmm. And when we take those x-rays, we have a digital x-ray machine right there in the office, so they're developed in 30 seconds, and we can look at them. Mm -hmm. We're going to sit you down, and we're going to show you the x-rays. Mm -hmm. We're going to pull them up on the screen, and we're going to say, there's your problem. Right. And this is what we're going to do to fix it. So when you leave there, you know everything that happened. Yeah, you have a good plan. You've, you've right. seen the plan. You, you've seen what the problem was. You know, we, we can say that's degenerative disc disease right there. And we're going to try to open that joint back up and get the pressure off of that nerve by pushing this bone this way and this bone this way. And we're going to do that when I'm going to put my hand right here and I'm going to put it, and I have my little model there. So I'm going to put my hand right here on this spinous process and I'm going to put it and people see it. And so when they leave, they've got a good idea. Because I had a lady that came in with an MRI. Mm -hmm. And uh, she was come from uh, a, a surgeon in Raleigh. And the neurosurgeon wanted her to have surgery. Mm -hmm. She wanted me to look at it. Mm -hmm. And I looked at it. And I said, yeah, I think you need surgery. I, said, I think you're well past what I can do. Mm -hmm. But she was just happy that I sat down and showed her the MRI right. because nobody had showed her the MRI. She right. had no idea. Right. She's like, right. they told me that I got a herniated disc and I need mm -hmm. surgery. Mm -hmm. She's like, I want to see if you can help me. She's like, I brought my MRI. I said, okay. Popped the MRI in. We looked at it. I said, yeah. I said, I'm 90% certain you need surgery. She's like, don't think there's nothing you can do. I said, I honestly don't want to touch it. I said, uh, that's a huge herniation. I mm -hmm. said, it's, you know, mm -hmm. The canal is pretty much occluded. I said, it's putting pressure on that nerve. I said, I don't think there's enough adjustment in the world that's going to do anything yeah. for that. Yeah. But she was like, well, I'm, she was just so thankful that we showed her right. the MRI. And, and we sat she, down and showed she'd her. she feel better about going to the neurosurgeon. And, you know, and it's what I told people, you know, I didn't, we looked at I didn't do anything but look at the MRI. She was in there maybe seven minutes. She left, she felt good, and she's going to go tell somebody that That's I right. went to that chiropractor That's right. and he looked at my MRI. Nobody else showed me that. That's right. That person's going to say, well, maybe I should go see him. That's right. So, that's, you know, we try to do what's how, right for the patient. That's how it works. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. All right. It's time for our next break. So uh, we will be back in just a few more minutes, and we're going to talk more about chiropractic care and what Dr. Allen can do for you because... I'm beyond help, but I'm sure that there's somebody out there that could use your... And please give us a call if you want, if you have a question, 407-1111. All right, we'll be right back. Don't go away. At Downey's Hearing Care Associates, we are dedicated to taking care of every client by providing personal, high-quality hearing care services. My staff and I know hearing loss affects each person and their loved ones differently, so we give you the time and the care you need to ensure the hearing technology chosen fits your lifestyle. At Downey's Hearing Care, we also make custom ear molds and specialize in emergency hearing aid repairs. Down East Hearing Care Associates has two locations, one in Nightdale and one in Rocky Mount. We have hearing lives to save. Looking for an affordable option to treat erectile dysfunction? Ward Specialty Pharmacy now has low-cost Tadalafil trochee. Compounded Tadalafil trochees are small lozenges that dissolve between your gum and cheek. Many ED treatments can cost hundreds of dollars. Take advantage of Ward Specialty Pharmacy's competitive pricing. Ten doses of Tadalafil trochees are only $80. A prescription from your doctor is required. Call Ward Specialty Pharmacy today, 252-459-5544. The statement in this ad has not been evaluated by the FDA. This product is not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease. Hi, I'm Richard Goss, pharmacist and owner of Almond's Drug Store here in Rocky Mountain. I'm here today with my wife and two daughters. For over 75 years, Almond's Drug Store has been the pharmacy of choice for residents of Edgecombe and Nash County. 
Our family is proud to call Rocky Mount home, and we are excited about the new services and products we are adding daily at both of our Almonds Drug Stores locations and also at our medical supply store. Come in and see us at Almonds Medical Supply. We're an extension of Almonds Drug Stores, your local hometown pharmacy. We're here to service all your needs, from wheelchairs to walkers to orthopedic supports, compression hose to hard to find wound care supplies and you'll always get that hometown customer service. We want our patients to pay the best prices, get the best service available, and have a better pharmacy experience than they will get anywhere else. Our staff is committed to going above and beyond to meet our patients' needs. Whether it is working with your provider to get you the best medication at the best price, contacting your provider to get you refills or a pre-authorization, or taking the time to review each of your medications with you personally, or perhaps even helping you find an old-time remedy or other hard-to-find items, your Almonds Drug Store staff will work hard to meet your pharmacy needs. At Almonds, we will deliver your prescriptions for free. Both of our stores have drive through windows, we guarantee short wait times, and our pharmacists will come out to greet you personally and answer any questions you have. If you want to be met with a smiling face, or even want someone to greet you by name when you walk through the doors, we are the pharmacy for you. Call Owens Drugs today. 443-3138 or 446-0014. We're back with Dr. Alan Bolin. He is such a great guest because he he loves to be on, he loves to talk, and I love to listen to him. So it's a marriage made in heaven up here with Dr. Bolin as my guest. I'm playing with stuff. I'm sorry. I apologize. So why don't you tell us a little bit about how people can get to see you? Do oh, they just okay. walk in? They yeah. Call um, you a or? lot of people think that they need a referral. They don't. Um, you can come walk in the door tomorrow morning we're open at 7 45 we close from 12 to 1 45 for lunch and then we're open from 1 45 to 6. Um, if you're a new patient and you haven't been in we do like you to get there by five o'clock because it takes about an hour for your first visit after that you know you can come in later if you need to mm -hmm. um, but yeah uh, anytime and if you're coming in the morning we like for you to get there by 11 because you know uh, cuts into lunch break um, and we're we everybody's like man you get those bankers hours lunches but because we're open till six o'clock every night things are closed the bank's closed insurance office is closed so we have the hour 45 minute lunch break so you got an hour to eat and then 45 minutes to run that errand for, for our staff you know right, right. Um, to, to go to the bank to go pay your insurance mm -hmm. to go what do whatever mm -hmm. so uh, we try to make sure we get that lunch break in for them more than for us um, I don't mind staying. Half time I'm eating lunch at the office doing paperwork anyway, filing and charting and everything else. Yeah. But you can come in anytime. You can call 443-7400. Uh, we have a website, drhammerchiro.com. If you Google us, we're generally one of the first ones to pop up by Hammer Chiropractic Center. You can Google us. Um, if you just Google Chiropractor Rocky Mount, you can find us. You can request an appointment there. We'll get with you. We have a 24-hour answering service. So if you called right now, you're going to speak to a live person. It's not a recording. They can schedule you an appointment. So you can call at 2 o'clock in the morning and say, hey, I need to be seen. I, I fell and I need to be seen, and they're going to get you in. We strive ourselves on same-day appointments. Mm -hmm. Sometimes that's not possible. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but if you're hurting today, we want you to be seen today. We want you to get there, um, and we want to, we want to help you. We accept most major insurances, Medicare, Medicaid, Blue Cross Blue Shield, Cigna, Aetna, all those different insurances. Do most insurances have chiropractic coverage or yes. is that still a, something you have to pick out? I don't most know. insurance these days have chiropractic coverage. Now, where we fall into is dependent on your plan. Mm -hmm. A lot of them have chiropractor written on your card. And it'll say primary care, copay, blah blah blah, mm -hmm. specialist chiropractor. If it doesn't say, if you're, that's if you're Blue Cross Blue Shield. If it doesn't say chiropractor, a lot of times we fall under your specialist copay. Oh yeah. Um, which some may be fifty, some may be seventy-two, some may be ninety, some may be one hundred and twenty. Yeah. 
Um, but even if you don't see it on your card, there is a lot of instances where we will call and check your insurance. Mm -hmm. And if you're not sure and you want to know, if you call our office and give our girls some information, your name, your date of birth, and the insurance number, they'll call, check your insurance, call you back, and let you know what everything's going to be if you want to check it out before you come in. Sometimes, though, you know, to, you'll look at your specialist copay will be $90. Mm -hmm. But we'll call, and they'll be like, oh, you're a chiropractor? Well, it's only 35 you know oh, what I'm saying? Okay. So, yeah. you know, it, 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 that's why we yeah. always, we don't just go by what's on the car. We always okay. call, verify yeah. the insurance, check yeah. it. And we do that right when you walk in. So while you're filling out the paperwork, uh, either Jennifer or Randy or Ashley will be checking your insurance. And when you get done filling out your paperwork, you're going to walk up there and they're going to say, okay, Miss Linda, we called and your copay is x amount of dollars and you've met your deductible and you, you know or, or you haven't met your deductible and, and they're right. going to explain Whatever. everything to you mm -hmm. and so by the time you get to see me you know exactly what you're paying how much it's going to cost and everything and you don't have to worry about it because they've already got it said done and said done so um but yeah you can call go to the website um walk in um uh, we're there for you anytime uh between those hours the website does say we're open on Saturdays. We are not open on Saturdays. Ah. That's my fault. Um, I need to correct that. We used to be open on Saturdays from 9 to 12. We're no longer open on Saturdays anymore. Um, basically because I got tired. And I got tired of working <laughs> on Saturdays. Um, so and we, he has to take care of the cows in the pasture. We did, yeah. And, you know... Um, and not only that, you know, when my when I didn't have kids, it wasn't as big a deal. Mm -hmm. um, when kids started having ball games on Saturday mornings yeah. and stuff like that, yeah, you don't want to miss that. It, it, well, I, I didn't. I just uh, I, I I would not go in those Saturdays and just hope nobody called. But uh, <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, we don't do Saturdays anymore. But um, like I said, you can go to our Facebook page, mm -hmm. um, Hammer Chiropractic Center on Facebook. Like our Facebook page. Uh, we're always updating some great information there. Uh, we put a lot of stuff on Facebook, uh, mainly because it's free. There's a lot of stuff on our website, too. But uh, we put a lot of stretching and oh, dietary you? stuff oh, and okay. a lot of good stuff on the Facebook page. So you should like the Facebook page just to get our updates. Uh, generally, me or one of the girls is putting something up there every other day, every couple of days. Like really? I said, so good information off the Facebook page. So hmm. um, I'm going to have to... Put that on my phone. Yeah, yeah. We're not into Twitter or, or Instagram or any of those other ones, but um, cause basically because I don't know how to do all that. And I'm only 40 years old, right? I'm, I'm 39. Well, I'm not even 40 Well, have your kids yet. show you. They know how exactly. to do it. Exactly. And, you know, everybody's like, um, you know, well, you should know how to do that. You should know how to do that. And I'm like, look, I still have a VCR hooked up to my TV. Oh, you know, Alan, I, come I, on I mean, now. I, I'm old school for, I'm an old soul for 40 years old. <laughs> uh, you know, I have the VCR DVD combo. That is still that I got when I was in college, and it's still hooked up to the TV right now. It's hard. It gets every time I get a new you TV. Know they have something called Netflix. That, we have Netflix. Oh, uh, we do have Netflix. Uh, we very rarely do we use the thing. My kids use it now because my wife has all the old Disney on DVDs, mm -hmm. and some of those are. We have Disney Plus now, which yes. we just got shortly ago. Mm -hmm. um, we had Netflix and we had HBO. We let the HBO go. We got Disney Plus. Now we got yeah. Netflix and Disney Plus, which has eliminated a need for a lot of the DVDs. But before we had that, all the old Disney DVDs my wife had, so the DVD player was great. But it's getting harder and harder. Every Is time we buy a new TV, it's harder and harder to find yeah. cords yeah, to match right. that that's old right. one to the new and one. one of these days, you're not going to. It's probably. Is she an old soul like you, or is she a little bit more? She's a little more modern than I am. <laughs> um, you know, She was the one that I fought getting a smartphone forever oh. i was mm -hmm. probably the last person that was born post 1980 <laughs> that had the flip phone everybody was walking oh, around oh, yeah, it was like the iphone 5 or 4 or 5 was out and i still had the flip phone you know because i mean what did i need the internet on my phone for my husband always says i don't want a smartphone i want a dumb phone yeah exactly <laughs> the 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 only reason that i enjoy my smartphone now is one I don't have to have a GPS in the car yes, because the GPS is on the phone. And there's better than those GPSs. And two, looking up a phone number, like if I want to call uh, Ichiban for some takeout mm -hmm. tonight on the way home, mm -hmm. Google 
yep. phone. Yeah. I don't have to keep, you, you know, I don't have to use the phone book or anything. Right, you know, right. it's, it's right there. Yeah. So I do enjoy that. But past that, I mean, I got Facebook on the phone. I very rarely look at it. I don't text very often. I'm not, uh, texting I is text not my them, thing. Though. Yeah. Uh, and I don't mind, again, I have buddies that'll want to text conversations. Call yeah, me. Yeah, I, I don't. Yeah, want, I'm yeah. not sitting there all day. I, I don't like that. It's and, like I'll meet you at six thirty. And, you know, well, exactly. Like yeah, you know, mm-hmm. Alan, you want to do the show? Absolutely. Seven thirty Wednesday. Right. That, that little that, Alan, my wife, pick up some milk on the way home. Yeah. That's a that's a great text message. Right. right. You know, buddies want to text. You know, conversations mm-hmm. about what's going on around the house. No. And, and what gets me is they'll text me. I'll call them back and they don't answer. I'm like, you just texted me. I know you got the phone. <laughs> and I'll text them back that. I'm like, I know you got your phone. I'm not texting you until you call me. Because <laughs> I just don't text. It's not my thing. So, I'm an old soul. Like I said, I, 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 I feed my cows. I play a little golf. I fish. And that's what I like do to do. Do you hunt too? I do hunt. Uh, we eat a lot of deer meat at my house. Mm-hmm. Um, if you come to my house and uh, you eat food and it's burger and it's not specified that it was beef you can pretty much bet you're eating venison Uh so um, i love venison oh it's great Mm -hmm. we eat a lot of it my kids love it um well i like it well i like the taste of it but i also i mean i'm just all about not i I don't want to buy any meat in the grocery store right well um i i my wife, I tell my wife all the time that the venison is healthy. Mm-hmm. And then she says they're eating all the GMO corn out there, so they're not oh, all that healthy. Well. And I'm like, well, maybe, I don't know. <laughs> I was like, well, I like to pretend they're healthy. So um, They used to be healthy before GMO. Right, that's right. So, yeah, well, but. You um, can't fix that. No. So. All right, so it's time for us to say goodbye. I want to thank you, Dr. Alan Bolin. I always love it when you come on the show. Well, thanks for having me. I beg him sometimes, but that's all right. And give him a call at 443-7400. He will see you or one of the other um, providers in the office will be able to see you. And if you need anything, give him a call. And I will see you all next week with more of Here's Your Good Health. Have a good night. See you then. Cornerstone Funeral Home, and I'd like to invite you and your family to give our family an opportunity to serve you in your time of need. And we offer a full line of funeral services, everything from visitations to graveside services to cremations on site with a live crematory, as well as a banquet hall to meet the catering needs of our families that we serve. We offer catering service, we offer refreshments prior to visitations and services of our family, and we want to invite you to come and experience the difference here at Cornerstone Funeral Home. We're in our 18th year of practice at the Hammer Chiropractic Center and we've seen over 15,000 different people in the Rocky Mount area. 40% of headaches actually come from a neck problem. Many patients come in taking multiple aspirin, over-the-counter medications and such a day and we can get you to stop doing that and actually fix the problem so the headaches don't rise anymore. A lot of people think chiropractic hurts. It does not. Most of the people come in and they feel great when they leave. For 116 years, our customers have made Badcock Home Furniture and more part of their lives. We'd like to thank you for being the biggest part of ours. Join us for our 116th anniversary sale, featuring our exclusive Stanhope collection, heirloom quality pieces at must-have prices. Plus, save up to 30% on select bedding, all with no credit refused. It's our way of saying thanks for making Badcock your hometown furniture store for generations. For details, visit badcock.com.